What up YouTube? We're back at it again. I hope you enjoyed the radiator video because we have a huge one today. And I think it's what all of us have been waiting for. So we're going to be getting this motor in the car. I'm not going to seal up the oil pan for now because I still have to figure out where I'm going to be putting the oil drain. Um, so I figured I'll get the motor in the car, figure out exactly where I'm going to put the turbo, and then from there I'll figure out where the drain is going to go in the oil pan. But we'll get the engine adapter on. We're going to have the, the new flywheel the new clutch, we're gonna, it, it's gonna be good. All right, so finally I'm gonna put this homemade engine to all to the test. Let's see how it goes.
is to torque the, torque the flywheel. It was as easy as grabbing the crank bolt on this side and tightening each one down. I already torqued them all. I forgot to record it, but just in case you're ever in this situation, I highly suggest this like $15 engine dolly that we put together. And we will put a link to that video here. Alright, so we got the clutch in here with our alignment tool. And uh, I just have one bolt and the pin in place. So we're going to go through now and lock tight the others. And we'll do it in star pattern as best we can. I may also have to clearance right here and the same thing on the other side so I can access the spark plugs um, and stuff like that a little bit easier. So we're going to start by taking off where that white pants of line is. But the problem I'm having is it's still way, way, way too tight on the valve covers. I decided that rather than sit here and pout, I'm gonna remove the two lower bolts from now because I can easily pull this back out again. 
and at least get this in here for the sake of my own enjoyment. So, and also kind of get you guys a video. So, let's get this bad bitch in here. Okay, so I've not been able to install this engine on the transmission. I think I finally figured out why. So you can see here, I have a late model transmission and it has this extra ring around the input shaft for the transmission. Now what I think is happening is I have a pressure plate from KEP, the same plate Kennedy engineered products that made the whole adapter kit for Subaru to Volkswagen. And I think this is a universal pressure plate and I'm pretty sure I need to remove this ring because it's not big enough to fit over this shaft. And all the reading I said is that I can remove this inner ring right here and it should make it possible to use the pressure plate. I, I think this is, they're making basically universal pressure plates. So this is made for a late model, uh, or earlier model and you can remove this ring and then use it for a late model. So I'm gonna give it a whirl because there's really not much to lose at this point. Alright, let's try this again. I have a much better feeling this time. I'm happy to say that we're ending this video with the motor in oops, there we go in the car. And as you'll see, well, I should say, as you already saw from my frustration, sometimes it takes a little time to take a step away, kind of maybe you gotta look online, maybe you gotta look at the problem you have at hand. I was fighting that throat bearing and the clutch pressure plate for quite a few hours. Then I took the time took a step away, tried to figure out what was interfering, did my research online and realized I just made a stupid mistake of not taking out that little guide ring. So we'll end the video with that. I'm really excited. The next couple of videos we'll have some plumbing, some wiring, and hopefully sooner than later we'll get this thing started up and purring. So if you like what you saw, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more.